Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. Well, the inaugural champion of the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup was crowned at the National Stadium in Kingston, Jamaica on Wednesday as Robin Hood consolidated their 1-0 first leg lead over Cavalier with a 2-0 second leg win. In another tight encounter, tournament top goal scorer Chanel Thomas received a red card in the 56th minute. Despite a valiant effort with 10 men, Cavalier's resistance was broken late with goals from Franklin Singer Cromo in the 89th and Jamil Ho Reuters in stoppage time, sealing the win and the title for the Surinamese club. As quite a consolation for the Jamaican outfit, they will join Robin Hood and third place Mocha in the 2024 edition of the CONCACAF Champions League. Well, joining us this afternoon to discuss his team's journey through the tournament is technical director of Cavalier Football Club, Rudolf Speed. Good afternoon, Rudolf. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. And you? I'm all right. Thanks also. So let's talk about yesterday's match. Um, unfortunate that the result didn't go in your favor, but what a fight from your team. Well, yeah, I was. Um... You know, we missed a lot of chances in the first leg. In the second leg, um, I thought we were battling. They were playing extremely good. Robin is a really good team. But, you know, that red card, even when we got the red card, we were still bringing the fight. Um, but then we overexerted ourselves, pushing forward and considered two late goals. Yeah. Would you say the red card was the turning point where the result was concerned? Oh, definitely. I thought we had the better play up to that point. And um, Robin was hanging on. We are just starting to get, you know, to them some more. Um, and the red card was just a bitter blow. Bitter blow. I just thought it was harsh um, based on what was happening, the time of the game. And the, the tackle wasn't, he actually got the ball. So I thought it was a harsh card. Yeah, and Rudolph... I didn't think it was a foul, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't think it was a foul? Rudolph? Yes. Yeah, I was. No, I said I didn't. I didn't even think it was a foul. I just thought that he got the ball, and it, that was too harsh a, 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 a response from the referee. Yeah, really, really unfortunate because you know he's such a player. You know, when he leaves the field, of course, you know a lot of the players around him they are affected, and we saw that in the result, of course. But oh, definitely. Yeah, I saw a report, a uh, post-match interview. Uh, you were cited saying, you know, despite the uh, unfortunate result, the result not going in your favor, there were positives where your team was concerned. Can you elaborate a bit on some of those positives? Well, there's a lot of positives. I'll tell you the first one. This this has been our third final with this team this year. We went to the final of the Premier League final and knockout. So we're more disappointed that we didn't win one of those finals. But what happened is that the team had lost about five, six of its best players, I mean, since January. And then the school players, schoolboy players, are, you know, are participating in the league still. They are in the in the finals, um, both rural and, and um, both rural and the, and the corporate finals. So we have lost um, a, num a number of our players. So we are really down to bare bones. And to come through that competition and, and, re and reach the final and also still competing in the Premier League with a skeleton staff, I thought we did very, very well. Yeah, interesting that you point out a skeleton staff with uh, all the work that the team has been doing this year. And the CONCACAF Champions Cup is coming up not long from now, starting in February of 2024. You will have to play the first round now instead of advancing to the round of 16 if you had won this CONCACAF Caribbean Cup tournament. How do you now um, go about putting this team together to play all the competitions that you have in front of you and maintain the high level that we have seen from Cavalier in recent times? Well, I mean, <laughs> not to mention, you know, following upon the question that this is probably the youngest professional team in the world. Um, I, with two months to go before the first game in February, I will have some return. Nicholas, uh, Nicholas Hamilton will be returning from injuries. El Shot will be returning from injuries. And then I have eight schoolboy players who will, who will also return. So I'll have a much bigger squad to choose from. 
Yeah, interesting that you spoke about Nicholas Hamilton. I know he spent some time in Finland, I think it was. Um, hasn't been able to provide much for you in terms of on the field because of that knee injury. Um, but if any at all, I mean, how important is a player like him with the experience, given the fact that you have so many youngsters in your setup? Uh, he was supposed to be the person who would have held this team together with his experience. It's unfortunate that we lost him in the second game, I think second or third game in the in the Champions League. But also, Dwayne Atkinson is back. Mm -hmm. um, Richard King is back also. So I think, I don't know if they're going to go again in January because their loan has expired now. But we'll have those two other players too with some experience, still young but experienced. So we're hoping to kick on from here if we get all those three players back in the January window. Yeah, and the Jamaica Premier League, you've played five matches so far, a couple of wins, a couple of draws, just one defeat. So it is a decent start to the campaign. Um, as you know, I guess start to pay more attention to that tournament. I want to get an understanding, though, of how you feel you have gone so far in the JPL and what are the improvements you're looking to make in upcoming matches to hopefully, from a Cavalier standpoint, surge up the table? Well, it's our only focus now. What had, had happened before in last month, one of the months when the Premier League just started, we had like nine games lined up to play. It was difficult, and we had to focus on the Champions League because you know how important that is for us to qualify for the CONCACAF round. So we did was, you know, giving everybody a game, never trying to feel our best team, was just trying to feel the right team so everybody would be fresh and able to, to, to play at their best in the Champions League. That's not the case now. Our, our focus is reversed, so we are trying to get our best team now to play in the JPL. Yeah, you know something interesting I find curious, and I'm quite happy that we have you here today, Rudolph, because Cavalier have had a lot of success in recent seasons, but that hasn't been reflected in the support that you have um, as far as spectator support is what I'm talking about. Even before um, the, the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup final, I heard individuals saying, well, it's Cavalier, so you're probably not going to get a big turnout because they don't really have fans. Um, one, do you agree with that? Is that something that you would like to fix? And if it is, how do you go about fixing that? So we are, we are, we are, it's something that we grapple with all the time. Mm. We are probably everybody's second favorite team. They have another team, and you know, we are their second favorite. What we have done is built out our social media platforms. I think we have the most social, we have the best social media platform in the country now, over 15,000 persons on Facebook, Instagram, I mean, individually, both of them. We have a, a, a YouTube page, and you know, also we have built out that platform. It is something that we expect to use in the next 12 months to try and um, get those people that support us on their social media platform to come to the game. So that is the plan we have. Mm. How soon do you expect to see a, a, a difference in your spectator turnout? I think there is already starting. There is some upturn because if you notice the final against us and more present, it was so loud. Yes. And when, when we scored and I look at the crowd, there was a lot of people there jumping up for Cavalier. So I'm saying, okay. So even if they're not all fully our fans, they, they're halfway there. So um, I th it has started to pick up. And I just hope it gets better and better. We just need to have good results, keep going, doing what we're doing. And I think it will get better um, eventually. Yeah, quickly, Shanil Thomas, two hat-tricks in the CONCACAF um, Caribbean Cup. He did get a call-up to uh, the Jamaica team for the game last month against Guatemala. Um, talk to us about the improvements, if any at all, that this young man has made this season. Remember him from Jamaica College, winning a Manning Cup for them, but didn't have a great final season. Um, but is he coming of age at Cavalier? Is he delivering in the way that you would want him to deliver? Red card aside last night? <laughs> oh, definitely. Um, Chanel was the one who led the line for us when we won the title in 2021. I think after that, he, he suffered a lot of injuries, and I'm not sure about, you know, what his commitment was in those two years. But this year, he's a changed person. He's a training first. He's the last to leave. He works very, very hard. 
And um, me and both of us will sit down and have discussions about how we can improve his game, and he has, he has, he has done them. And, but he was always one of the most talented players we ever have um, in the history of the club. So I think he's just coming to the fore now. Everything is coming together. Yeah, you've spoken about the number of players who could potentially leave in January, and we know Cavalier is that type of club. You, you love the youngsters, and you um, love to sell the youngsters as well. Um, do you suspect he is one of those who could be leaving um, anytime soon? I would be surprised if he didn't leave in the January window. There's offers already, more than one person from Europe. All of, you know, people wanted to come on trials, but we're just looking to see what the best offer is out there. And then we, I'm sure his handlers would advise him, you know, what we want to take up. But I'd be very surprised if he's here at the end of January. All right, so we're not too sure what the Cavalier team is going to look like come January. No, no, we have ample replacement. We have young Keanu Jackson um, from Idaho. We have, um, we, have a, we have ample replacement. We are happy when they leave because, you know, it's a next man up. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, not a bad system at all. Rudolf Speed, thanks very much for joining us. Tough luck not getting the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup, but you still have a lot of football to play and a lot of high-level football as well. So we wish you all the very best. Take care. Thank you for having me. All right, Rudolf Speed. He is technical director of Cavalier Football Club, runners-up in the inaugural CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more.